Uh, so here's a, a question from a, one of our female listeners. Um, why don't men understand when we say go away that we are not playing hard to get? <laughs> okay, what do you say to that, Carrie? <laughs> um, uh, I, I'm, I hope that, that <laughs> men nowadays do get it. <laughs> no means no. I mean, if anything, shouldn't they? Me too. Didn't me too teach these men? No means no. I don't. Well, here's here's the thing. This girl's coming from. Here's here's the thing. I I think that sometimes I think sometimes it's not a situation. Now now look, I've never wanted to be around somebody who I who didn't want me around. So I don't. There's no. I don't have any me too thing where I was trying to force myself on people. I think what happened and like even with the me too thing, uh, I think you you end up in a situation where you have people who you have men who didn't have the charisma or did wasn't able to to attract women in a certain way. So what they the the play was back in the days is like okay, I'll become rich and famous and then I'll bend people's will because I'm powerful enough to bend people's will or I have so much money or I have so much power. The 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 problem with that is number 1 it's it's you're bending people's will with the power and the money you have. They they're still not really interested in you. And even if people if there's a trade off uh, because of the money or the power or whatever, it's they're still not really interested. So there's a situation. I think there's. I think what one of the things that the nuance of this is that um, you as a man, you're so. So I get this all the time where guys wanna. They're not. They're like in with the Me Too in place. They're like, well, how do I approach a woman without? you know, without overstepping the boundaries. And and then again, I, like I, over and over again, and we have on the show, there's three principles that we, we talk about all the time is the, the acronym is ACE. It's authenticity, credibility, and empathy, right? So authentic, authenticity in the fact that you speak the truth. You tell the truth, you tell, and, and, and don't be deceptive. So and I've, I've said this all the time. And one of the things that women have always had to, and, and partially but with the Me Too movement, is that guys were not authentic in the first place. They had ulterior motives and they were hiding that because they didn't think that they could be honest about what they wanted from a particular social engagement. And so they lied about it. And then they, and then you got a button that locks people in your in, in your in your office because you didn't really because you 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 miss. You're misrepresenting yourself in the first place. Secondly, the credibility is say what you mean and mean what you say. Um, and that means there's a certain level. I, I, that's a, it's an interesting thing. It's one of the things about your husband that I, he was always kind of a straight dude. It's like, I, this is what I say. This is what I mean. This is, you know, boom, boom, boom. Quit. But there's also an empathy that I think men had to ha needed to have in terms of, okay, to not consider that women were um, that every time a woman goes out, I've said this, I haven't said this a lot lately, but every time a woman would go out on a date, she's risking her health, her life and her well-being. Like she has to read the social cues to see that this guy is not dangerous. That's even when it comes to a cup of coffee. So men are not, they're not, they don't have to deal with that. Like, no guy is going out thinking, oh, if I go out on this date, I could be raped. It's just not even right. a concern. And, right. and women constantly have to consider that in a real, not just in, in kind of this superficial way, in a real way. Like, if you're younger and you, you, or you're going out on a date, you're texting your friend, this is who I'm with, or you're trying to let them know because you, you know that you could be in danger. So there's an... Uh, 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 authenticity, credibility, and empathy, understanding what women have to go through, being honest about what is and saying what you mean and mean and what you say. That I think that that makes you more attractive anyway because, I mean, how many guys do women deal with all the time that just don't really have something in mind but, won't, but are really being deceptive? And when you're being, if you're being un undecisive, you're being undecisive because you're playing above your head. Like you're, you're, you're dealing with some girl that you don't think that you really should be with. So you're trying to trick her into thinking something else so that you can, you can get laid or you can get with her because you don't really think you're worthy of it in the first place. 
But if you're really credible and you're really authentic and it's and the cards on the table, then I think you can be honest about what you and and yeah. and if and if the woman says I'm not interested, then then it's we're understood. I'm not interested. Now, if I go, if you say I'm not interested, and I and I'm and I'm a guy who deals with honesty and credibility. Now, I've i I'm full full disclosure. My cards are on the table, and you go, no, I'm not interested. And I go, okay, then I'm gonna go. Now, he's wondering why people, why guys aren't, why guys are not listening to that. Why right. are they not going? But they're not listening because they're being deceptive. They're being deceptive. They, they, right. they really have something else in mind. So they're not. So the, the minute the guy is not listening to it, right, that tells you who the person is. You man school two o two. Better hear what I've got to say because you won't get it again. I'm not an alpha male. I'm not a beta male either. I'm just a better man. Better man.